Claudia Miranda, and I wanted to share you with you guys my experience in building my own chuck bucks at home. Uh, the reason I started building one is because my husband and I took a trip this week, this year, and we fell in love with camping, and we wanted to do it more often in the future. But I felt like I was packing a lot to be able to cook a couple simple meals <laughs> at our campground. And I bump into the concept of a chuck box, which I immediately fell in love with. Um, and I started looking at buying my own. Uh, you're thinking uh, it's gonna be a pretty reasonable price, but you're looking at between 600 to above price. So I just decided to make one with my, uh, my husband. And um, we honestly didn't know where we were headed, but we started by uh, deciding that we were. <laughs> <laughs> and that uh, we went thrifting and so we decided uh, to come with a couple concepts so let me show that to you guys um, and so do the legs fold on this so yes these legs fold up so when it's in the car it you put it on be, this car in the back of this yeah it will be folded so you, in the car it's only gonna be this high up here um, it holds everything I need it holds everything I need it has all my kitchenware up here uh, from measuring cups, three different knives, utensils uh, for my soap, a light for when it gets uh, dark outside, a sponge, handles for my um, pots and pans. So that goes all snuggled up in there. And then right now, I have to still put my handle in there, but I got my cups and for my oils and for other things I may need in the road will go on this door and then in here i got two gas stoves eight plates uh two pots two um pans um utensils to be able to dry my spices coming out here i got um some tupperware in there as well it's all snuggled up in there but you'll show a little bit of what you have in there right now right yeah it definitely fits. Then our com different compartments my husband and I added. Uh, also was in the back. You'll see a net that holds all the miscellaneous That's stuff. a motorcycle net, right? Uh, yeah, it's a motorcycle net. You could also add your trash bags on this. So when and you, you are have camping. Other tools in here. Yeah, so I have my cutting boards in here. And I could use the net to hold any other stuff. And then it also includes a sink, which folds up like this. Uh oh this uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a foldable sink that i just add into there i have to add the faucet but i already have it from amazon and another extra cutting area and then my light and napkin holder Yeah, I want to see. So just you just tighten it up from there. Retighten it once I'm ready to use it. Yeah. It holds a paper towel, and it will also hold a little light. camp light when uh, nighttime. Then you open up the stove, and you're ready to cook for yourself any meal you may need. And you have, and you have a nice so it has a sink, sink, extra cutting or board area, for anything that you need. Yeah, prep work area, cooking, everything you need. It's all in this little chuck box. So how'd you come up with uh, the design, and where'd you buy the different materials and stuff? So I knew I wanted the stands to stand on their own and have good sturdiness. And Amazon, I found these brackets that. Uh, fold very easy. It tucks everything away and it can hold up to 400 pounds, so it's just nice and sturdy up in there. And uh, I decided to go with copper instead of PVC. I think it's going to last a little bit longer and it's a lot more cleaner look as well. Let me see. And your stove, do you put it away? Uh, no, I actually decided with my husband to nail it on top. Okay. So it just goes portable. And I actually made a bag for it out of um, a tarp material. So when it does rain or I'm not using it, 
I could just cover it and it'll be safe from the weather conditions. And how'd you come up with the color? I love the color red. And I felt like uh, something campy look would be going great with the green and the brown. And I just thought it would go pretty well. And the silver, it's more when you actually clean. You know, you clean with oil, you cook with oil and you cut all the time. So this, I think, is a more lasting material to keep up here uh, instead of wood. Because uh, you definitely want to protect your chuck box mm -hmm. as you're using it. Any uh, tips that you have for someone that wants to make their own chuck box? Uh, I say take your time, know what you really want, and uh, it's okay to make a couple of mistakes, and you'll learn in the process what you really want to take with you and what you won't need to take with you. So, okay. Uh, How many times have you used it? Has I mean, it been field proven? Uh, field? Yes. I definitely have used it. I've, we've cooked fish tacos in it. We've done Korean barbecues with it already. And that's like two times. And so uh, I've used it at least like, I think four meals so far out of the park. I'll, I'll make a film uh, next time I take it to the park and or camping. You can take it to the beach. You can take it wherever you want to go. Yeah, nice. Well, uh, we want to uh, thank you guys for watching and any updates on the check box. We'll yeah, we make sure to, to add it. We have the, the, the water. Yeah, the water is gonna go. We have to plug that in. We already have the tool, so she's yeah, building yeah. it. And you know, we bought this box very cheap for forty-five dollars at the thrift store, and we just been adding to it. It did not look like this. I uh, will add a picture of how, how uh, we I it. think we have it. And uh, but yeah, thank you guys. And also, <whistles> hi, <laughs> hi. Yeah, mambo. Oh. You want to say bye?